Hello everybody and welcome back to another Jurassic World Dominion tour review. It is me, Jurassic Tyler, and today we have the Roar Strikers and Kylosaurus. So, as we can already tell, same packaging. Nothing different about that, guys. You already know. Same packaging. But uh, anyways, here we have the Ankylosaurus. So let's try to get out of the box here. Alright. Here we go. So here is the Roar Strikers Ankylosaurus, guys. Um, so let's get into some detail with this guy. So he does have a pretty large head. I'm not gonna lie. His head is pretty large. But um <laughs> so anyways, let's get into some detail about this guy. So we already know that he has a pretty big head. Um, honestly. Uh I think it's a little a little too silly to have a head this big for an Ankylosaurus. I think what they should have done is make it like the Dino Rivals head and have it just a bit smaller. But, I don't know, that's, you know, I'm just saying that's probably what I would have done if I was the person who's making this toy. But, uh, yeah, here we have it. So, as we can tell, it's it's kind of like a, uh, like a, like a brownish color with, uh, the horns, not the horns, but the, uh, the spikes or the, the blades or whatever you call these things, osteoderms, whatever they're called. It's like a beige color. So that is really cool. Um, it's not just a plain old white color. It's just it's like a beige. You know what I mean? It gives it more um, character to the actual dinosaur itself because back then they they had more of like a beige looking color to their horns and and stuff like that. It's not just fully completely white. Um, but anyways, on the underside we have like this. Um, it's kind of like a like a brownish red kind of color. And um, too bad they couldn't paint the beak, but oh well. The eye is actually detailed pretty well. I have to say the eye is pretty detailed. Um, honestly, yeah. Uh, so for the action feature, what you do is you press on the hind legs, and the tail swings back and forth. So not much to say about that. But anyways, here we have Ellie Sattler next to the Ankylosaurus. And it's pretty much the same in Kylosaurus as Bumpy is, but with just a different action feature. And and the uh, non-symmetrical horn is not there. It actually has a regular symmetrical horn. And, uh... Gosh, I have a dinosaur over there roaring. Oh, whatever. But, uh... Yeah, so here we have Ellie Sattler compared next to the Ankylosaurus. So there you have it, guys. There's the Roar Strikers and Kylosaurus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe, share with friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye Oh, I'm so dumb. I am actually dumb. You know, you know how dumb I am, guys? I forgot to give you guys the scan code. I'm literally an idiot. Oh my gosh, this dinosaur is driving me nuts. Be quiet. What the heck? This is the stupid thing that's been making all this sound this whole time. Get out of here. Nobody likes you, Robo Dinosaur. Nobody. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, technical difficulties. But anyways... There's a scan code. If you guys didn't, if you guys weren't able to get it to work, just leave down in the comments. You know, I'll make a separate video for that. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and bye bye.